Okay. I think I got everything. Maybe. I don't know. Anywho, greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, we, me, <laughs> um, I'm going to do a reverse dip, but instead of using plastic wrap or plastic, um, I'm going to use a different kind of plastic. I'm going to use this shelf liner. And we're going to see, um, because it's got a texture to it. I don't know if I can make it show up on camera, but there's like little bumps. So, and it's got little holes in it, of course. Um, <clears throat> this is the stuff you get at like Target, Walmart, Home Depot. This is the nice heavy duty stuff, not the stuff from the dollar store. Because I have the stuff from the dollar store and I use it for a different purpose. Um, I.e. crafting and stuff. So, hello Jay. Okay, so I'm going to start off, um, these are the colors that I want to use. Um, this is magenta metallic green, um, it's a hot pink, a uh, neon pink and neon green, and then this is metallic black, I think I already said that though. And then I'm going to mix up a quick little batch of, um, the Dutch pull Dutch Poi. Oh boy, Dutch boy, um, the acrylic enamel, um, and I, I seem to have really good luck with this more so than I did with the satin enamel. So, um, I'm going to mix up a little bit because I only have a little bit of this left and I want to use this as my base color thing. So, um, and then... Oh, I brought these down because I was going to do something else while I was waiting and <laughs> I kind of kind of lost track of time. It's been a unique day, let's just say it that way. So, let's see. Um, if I remember correctly, um... We did three ounces of paint of the titanium white to one ounce of this. That made four. And then we did eight ounces of Floetrol. I think that's what I did. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Amber. I'm just sitting here <laughs> having a brain fart because <laughs> I can't remember what I did. I think I did two to, hmm. Let's just do, we'll just do two ounces of this, four ounces of this, and 12 ounces of Floetrol. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try, we're gonna mix it in another container. Well, wait a minute. I think actually, if I do one, two, and four, we should be good. I'm like, wait a minute, let's get a bigger container. And then I'm like, wait a minute, all my bigger containers are in my dirty bucket. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Desert Man. Okay, so you're going to have to forgive me a little bit if I seem a little slow. Um, I just put in my fourth 12-hour day in a row. So 48 hours four days so and I've been up since a quarter to the three this morning it is now 6 30 so I did have oh shoot and that's what I forgot to grab I forgot to grab my iced coffee because I got stuff to do yet <laughs> I don't want to go to bed just yet okay so this is all dry let's stir this up I shook it up but let's stir this up and we'll let this Oh, breathe, Tish. Okay, so we're going to do one ounce of this. Come on. 
There we go. And then two ounces of this. Come on, Bessie. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's a little bit more than two ounces. 2.3. Close enough. We're going to stir this up. And normally I add the Floetrol first, but the, since there was a little bit of paint in here first, it'll be okay. I mean, there's just like that much at the bottom. And I just... I know I wanted more than that for this painting. So... <laughs> TC video. Uh-oh. Brooke, I have to admit I haven't had a chance to watch it because it's on... <laughs> it was on my, t uh, on my phone and I fell asleep before you got too far. <laughs> I, I've been doing that. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, oh yeah, I was going to watch this video. And then I'll watch the start watching the video, pull it up, and like three seconds later I'm back to sleep. It's not that anybody's boring or anything like that. It's just, it's, you know, midnight and I'm supposed to be sleeping and I wake up for some random reason, i.e. someone comes in the parking lot with really loud music. Okay. Now, we are going to do, we, the collective, me, myself, and I, um, so that was one and two is three, so we're gonna do six ounces of flow draw. Oof -da. I'm getting old. All my art stuff into the garage. Had to give up the dining room. Well, that's probably a good thing considering Thanksgiving is coming. And even if it's just you and Mrs. Desert Pours um, for Thanksgiving. It's still nice to have a sit-down meal. Yeah, I'm crazy though, so working like crazy is kind of normal for me. <laughs> okay, now that we got the flow chawl sufficiently shook up, it should be okay in here. It's not too hot. I think it's like 75. Okay, what were we doing? We were doing six ounces. Okay, it's usually a good idea to have what number you're going for in your head before <laughs> you just start dumping. I speak from experience, especially when using expensive chocolates and stuff like that. Oh, I miss chocolate. I miss chocolate work. I know I thought I would never say that I miss tempering chocolate, but once I learned how to do it, it's like the best thing ever in creating things and yeah. <laughs> How is your studio coming, Miss Brooke? I just, I'm so excited for you. Having your own space to art in is, even if it's a closet, you know, it's still your space. You know, having a garage would be amazing, but I have my living room dining room because I, I, you know, I have all my space to myself. But just having your own space, even if it's just a, a table in the corner and a little cart, you know, or even just a tackle box that you keep your pencils in. Or if you're a computer person, you know, having your, your little setup at your desk, you know, your little fuzzy bear sitting there or whatever, you know. Your little troll sitting on, on top of your monitor. I suppose you can't do that anymore because monitors are like this wide now. <laughs> is that the one that had, is it, that the dog that you, you had the chew toy, the chew toy incident? <laughs> I remember that video going, I thought it was the neighbor dog. Because the dog, the neighbors have dogs and they bring them out. And I thought it, the window was open and I thought it was the neighbor dog at first. Oh, yeah. 
All right, this is relatively thin yet, but not, yeah, I got a good mound moundy. My grandmother said now that she can ride her scooter around the table. Ha <laughs> ha. I remember those days. Well, not with my grandchildren because I don't have grandchildren. I have a grand fur baby though. Loki. When, I gotta find that video because I'm just gonna post it as a random, as a random video on my channel. It's Loki chasing her own tail in the chair and it was hilarious it's just one of those things that i gotta i gotta post but my one daughter's 19 and not having children right now i hope i think i don't have to worry about that too much and then my other my other daughter's 21 and she decided she doesn't want to have children and i'm okay with that i said as long as you provide me with fur grandbabies i'm okay all right, so let's turn this guy off. And I don't know if you all notice, but look, you have a clean area to look at. I took one of the boards and I peeled it off. And you know what? That is rather satisfying to peel off the skins, the plastic, off the, the acrylic off of the plastic. That's rather satisfying, especially after you've had a bad day. Okay, I'm gonna let this set for just one minute. Did I get something in there already? Yeah, well, let's let it be. Okay. I will be right back because I need I do need to have something to drink. And I forgot to grab it because I was doing 15 other things because ADD is a real thing. <laughs> and let's see. Um, I had like 14 things going on and yeah. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to, after working in the factory for 12 hours, you kind of get that dry, scratchy throat thing. Yeah, I don't have dogs. I just have neighbor dogs and neighbors that like to play really loud rap music. Okay. I'm going to shake these guys up. Well, thank you for the wonderful wishes. And thank you for joining us. I don't want to hack your name like completely awfully, but I'm thinking it's solely. I'm thinking, but that doesn't mean it's right. I watched um um some of her videos are really just really fun, and um she did she did these um, um birch aspen trees um that she painted and it was just like walking through a forest and it was like it brought me back to when I was a little kid because I grew up in a small town and th there was a woods at the end edge of town <clears throat> that me and the neighbor boys would always go build forts in so it was a good start to some traveling down memory lane working Absolutely. I, I, you know, that's what this channel, this channel, my, our channel is about supporting each other and, and, you know, getting compliments or constructive criticism or just plain support. That's what this channel is for. And also to learn some new things and, you know, do some new things because I like to experiment. I am the mad scientist 
of creating. I like to do weird stuff. And this is my happy place, is being here with some paint in my hand or some clay in my hand or something and sharing it with you. So you do beautiful work, just as Brooke said. You do have a lot of beautiful paintings on your, on your channel. Okay, that being said, not getting emotional, because I've been very emotional today because, you know, lack of sleep and lots of work and stress, and, but today was the last day of overtime that I have to work for, like, three weeks, so, now I can just, I hope, I went to HR today to find out exactly what goes on Thanksgiving week, so, I'm going to pour a little bit of this sound effects optional okay and what I must have dripped some paint on there ooh oh, not too bad I thought I could have a cool little skin but and this is an eight uh, eight 11 by 14 canvas, in case y'all were wondering. I'm just going to kind of go a little super duper here. Do, do, do. Hey, Brooke. Did, did someone choose that Payne's gray <laughs> painting? Um, cause I, what is it? Life is kumquat and then Blair, Blair won the other one. Cause if that one is still available, you and I need to have a talk. And I also need to, hey Jason, will you please remind me to order my bracelets? Because apparently I had a brain fart dream lapped over with real life. And I thought I paid Clee. Turns out I just dreamt it. Because I went to go check my email today. And it said... You haven't replied to this email and I'm like what the flop no it's okay all right I'm gonna leave it at that and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I <laughs> I use the last of my cheese I'll be using the last of my cheese in my whole entire house including the freezer and the vegetable drawer and everywhere. There'll be no cheese in my house, and that's awful. <laughs> that's just, I don't even have easy cheese. <laughs> I don't even have macaroni and cheese. I have no cheese in my house, except for this little bit that I'm going to use for, um, for, uh, uh, quesadilla. I'm going to make a quesadilla tonight. And if you're ever making quesadillas and you want them to be totally bomb, take a package of cheese curds and chop them up and put them in your quesadilla. It's the bomb. Okay. Pour over a Volkswagen? Yes. Yes. I would pour over a Volkswagen, as long as it's a, a, a Beetle diesel manual. I would pour, if I owned that car, I would be pouring all over it. <laughs> cool. You're very funny, Jason. Very, very funny. I was going to ask where you can, hey, you can, easy cheese is in a can. Let's see, Cheese Whiz is shelf stable, shelf stable until you open it. Um, cheese Puffs. I mean, sincerely, I have no cheese in my house. No Cheese Puffs, no nothing. 
I don't even have like rice cakes with cheese on them. So yeah. All right, hang on a second here. <laughs> I gotta think about this. Oh, I got a little upset about my cheese. <laughs> we're on, and we're on food again. But I make nice because oh no no honey, I'm sorry but children have no taste buds. It's a proven scientific fact. <laughs> Anything that you could make would be better than Taco Bell. But then again, I don't like Taco Bell, so. See, even Brooks, Brooke even agrees with me. Okay, so focus, Tish, focus. That's what that coffee's supposed to help me have, focus. So should I do several little puddles? Like do like a smaller puddle, smaller puddle, bigger puddle? I like doing things in threes and fives. I think five would just look odd, but like small, small, large, and then, cause this will cover the whole thing. And then I can just kinda, or should I just move one big one? <laughs> Kids don't know what they're missing. I think they do just on some level, but they deny themselves. I think I'm gonna do one big one. I'm just gonna, do one big puddle pour, I think. Threes? Except at 2 a.m. while drunk. Actually, you know what's really good at 2 a.m. while drunk is Denny's. Denny's is maze balls at 2 a.m. Drunk or sober. Threes? Okay. So, here we go. I think I'm going to do the black in the back and then we'll do the lime green. I don't know what I just got all over my hand. Oh, that's right. There's water on here. I spilled a little water when I was filling up my mister bottle. Okay. We're going to try and do it out of the spout this time. So I don't know what this is going to do, but I just felt like doing swirly gigs. That's right. You heard me right. I said a swirly gig. Bangers and mash. Shush, Jason. Makes me think of our trip to Duluth. Bangers and mash. Are sausages and mashed potatoes with gravy and it's probably the most splendid wonderful thing next to fish and chips okay let's do I kind of put the metallics at the bottom. That was probably a mistake. Oh well. We'll put some gold on top. I don't know what... Maybe it's because I feel like I've been going round and round all day. <laughs> this, is, this is my life right now. Swirly gigs. <clears throat> They're a special kind of sausage, though, if I remember correctly. I, I got educated on British food from an actual Brit. <laughs> Graham taught me what a Mr. Whippy is. And I have kind of a standing invite of sorts that if I ever go over to the UK that he will take me to go get the best bangers and mash and pea is gross and um, 
What else did he say? Oh, and fish and chips. I love the greens. I'm really kind of excited for this. It's kind of starting to blend in though too. Whoa. Okay, we got a burger. Somewhere. Aha. Stinker. Gotcha. Okay, I lost my whirly gig. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's put a little drizzle of white on top. And we'll put a little bit of gold on top of it all. Oops. Didn't mean to wiggle it like that. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Let's put the... And this press and seal has worked really well for me. So I highly recommend it. Okay. I think it needs a little bit of gold. Just a little bit. Just kind of drizzled in there. I got a little bit left in this cup. And this is that 24 karat gold that I need to go get more of tomorrow. Christmas. Yeah, I could see it, you know. It gives me an idea. I have this idea. And I just, one of the things, I'm not actually going to be, well, I'm going to be working in this studio a little bit tonight after this live. Um, but I'm mostly going to be doing dishes and cleaning my, reorganizing my kitchen. And like washing all the dishes that are dirty, plus the ones that have been like underneath boxes and storage and stuff. Probably shouldn't have gone that haywire with the gold, but we'll just do a little bit on this one. A little bit in the center there and a little bit on the edge right here. Okay. Put the lid back on this guy. I say lid. It's just plastic. If you get these, you know, if you get these tight enough on here, they actually do kind of stack. I wouldn't put more than two high, but... They stack. Yeah, once you start, you can't stop. Once you start, you can't stop. I know. Someone was telling me to mix a 24 karat with another the other gold that they make, the Extreme Sheen Gold, and you get this really cool color. I was thinking of actually mixing the 24 karat gold with, with like, copper to make a rose gold. I don't know. Like that warm penny. I think those two would be pretty to get mix them together and make like a rose gold. Good night, Soli. Okay. So So should I just drop this? Oh, wait, this was 12 by 12. This is 11 by 14. E. Should I just drop it on the whole thing or should I just do each by each? Er. Yeah, I have another gold too, that Artist Loft gold, which is meh.
What do you think? Any feedback, guys? <laughs> I can't think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking doing these two. But I'm afraid it's going to get all mucky and then I have to go wash it and... So should I do it all in one? Or should I do these two and then this one? Or should I do them each individual? I didn't bring a bucket of water. My kid was yelling. I know that feeling. I had them in stereo. Well, I had three. I would yell at each other. Not so much Teddy. He was kind of off in his own little PlayStation realm. So this isn't quite big enough because it it's 12 by 12 and this is 11 by 14. So now I was going to do like a hello artsy fartsy lovers. Good evening friend. I'm not going to swipe. I'm just going to do like a reverse dip. Like put it down and smoosh it and then pull it back up. That was the general consensus. Anyway, when I started this. I'm not very good at swiping. I can do the ghost swipes. I can do those. But like a big honking one? Nope. Mm -mm. Do it all? Okay, we'll go for broke. <clears throat> We've never been wrong, have we, Brooke? <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking. So I lay it down. Kind of like this. Oh, I'm polka dotted. Okay. I'm going to grab a glove because this is going to be really messy. And ugh. no worries about my shirt, though. I'm not wearing my, my Nintendo shirt. I have my gloves on top of the... I need to put another shelf in. A little shelf right here. I just want to pat it down a little bit. I don't want to smush it too much. So I just want to kind of pat it down. Kind of go in a circular motion just like the other thing here. There we go. Now, my feet are sticking to the tarp because I'm barefoot. Because I took my socks off because I took my shoes off. And I just, I've been wearing shoes for four days straight and I don't like wearing shoes. Alright, so we're just going to, let's go this way. I'm just going to peel this back and see what happens. Okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't plan that out again. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I've got my other piece of foam core here. There we go. All right. <coughs> Let's torch this and get rid of some of the bubbles. Torchy torch! Hello, Tammy! Welcome! Let's get rid of some of these bubbles. Oopsie doopsie.
Alright. Well. Let's see if I got enough paint here to do a little bit of a tippy. No, we do. So that's kind of... That's going to be interesting. Well, that didn't do what I thought it would do. I think next time, I think I'll do one. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. There's not enough paint in there to make it. I put too much black. That was part of the problem. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I'm like tempted to like scrape it off and do one big bloob. But. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to tip it around a little bit more. Because as I'm stretching this, it's actually, I'm kind of liking it more. It's just really hard to, <laughs> it's really hard to tip it. Yeah, I'm liking this more now. You know, Mr. Desert Pores, Mr. Desert Man, I was actually thinking maybe I should bring the airbrush out. Or the airbrush pump, I should say. I don't actually use my airbrush anymore. Because the one time I dropped it in the paint and <clears throat> yeah, that was a mess. This is actually kind of doing what I want it to do. So it's just a matter of getting the paint where I wanted it. And I'm gonna bring it back over.
Okay, let's bring it back down. I think I'm going to torch it one more time too. You know, I kind of like, I'm, I'm actually liking this now. I'm glad I didn't go with my gut instinct and say, ah, scrap it. I was going to scrape it. I really was. I'm like, no, let's tilt it and see what happens. Because, you know, I might just end up liking it. I think we're going to tilt, tilt a little bit more this way. Because I'm trying to get some of the lines to widen, but I can't seem to, there we go, there we go, kind of, maybe, a little. I love the colors, I mean the colors are phenomenal. This way, this way, and this way. Okay, let's torch this one more time. Should have kept my gloves on. I get a little bit happy. Oh, oh hey, if anybody has a Menards, buy them. It's 11% off this week, I think. I thought I saw that on Sunday. I don't even I don't even know what day it is today. I mean I kinda know, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh I see. Still waiting for my Hogwarts letter. Yeah, me too. They don't torch while you're tired. Oh, we'll see what happens with that. It's nothing, I mean, there's, despite a few air bubbles, there's really nothing going on with this. Okay. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this white paint. And fix some of this stuff here that got kind of hubbard. Okay. I'm going to leave it. It's it, you know, I didn't like it at first. I'll be the first to admit it. But it's kind of growing on me now. And I want to see how it dries because it's got that, we've got that uh, satin enamel and it's titanium white. So who knows what's going to happen. All right. I'll bring you in for, I'll bring it up for a close up here in a second so you can see a little better. I just want to get. Where it wandered a little bit.
I see the dragon right here. I don't know where you guys see it, but I see its head right here. <sighs> of course, Blair will message me and says she sees Batman or something. <laughs> She's always funny for that. Okay, so there is the one corner. And it, it, it looks like a Christmas ornament, kind of. If I can make a Christmas ornament look like that on the inside. Which we will be doing. We'll be doing Christmas ornaments next week. Yay! Because I've been doing Christmas ornaments a little bit different than most people. Um, I do do the glitter ones. And I do the, uh, the um, alcohol ink ones. But I also have ones that I painted. And they look really cool. And... I will share that technique with you. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna use for paint because I forgot to order paint. But I can figure it out. Because I usually use a clay based paint and then seal it. But look at that. Look at all that cool color. And there's some cloud effect going on right there. Of course, I see other things, too, that probably aren't appropriate for a, a PG-13 channel. I do like the negative space as well. I think it's... It's not a total fail. <laughs> the next, But we are going to do another one. Because I want to do one big, like, one big circle. And do, like, a lot of paint. Just because I want to see his, you know, experiment. And I do like this. And we're going to have it like this. Urgh. Try not to drop it. See? whoop dees My hands just decided not to work. <clears throat> so it happens when you use impact drills all day. Okay. Quit fiddling, Tish. Just tell me to quit fiddling. I love the the greens, yes. <clears throat> that metallic, this metallic green. And this is just, I think this is just Artist Loft. I have to double check and verify my information. But I do believe it's the only metallic green I've bought so far <clears throat> is the Artist Loft um, Academic Level 1. And I find that this one can give you anything from yellow all the way to teal. So I, you know, and in between. This isn't like the color shift or any of that stuff. So, um, I'm, I, I actually do like that metallic green. I like their metallic blue. I like their metallic cobalt blue. Um, I'm still going to get some more of the color shift colors. Because I want to do um, some, uh, what do you call it, uh, Christmas ornaments with those. Because I think that would be pretty. But, you know. It looks really cool. It looks like a dragon trying to eat a Christmas ornament. Or a radish. Kind of looks like a radish too. A multi, a very magical radish. <laughs> okay. I'm sleep deprived and highly caffeinated at this point. So, anywho, tomorrow night, uh, live at 8.30. Um, I encourage you to go watch Miss Doris at DF Designs. So, um, she does her live at 6.30 Central Time. And she's my neighbor over in Wisconsin. And she does some really amazing resin work. Um, but her live is right before mine at 6.30. And then we go back to, um, so 8.30 for Tish Talk. Tomorrow night is Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we would go back to our 6.30 p.m. Um, until the following Tuesday. So, and we've got Saturday shenanigans on Saturday where we pour, I have you guys pick the colors and <sighs> Perlex and vodka. That would break my heart, Mr. Desert Man. No vodka. 
Maybe some Everclear. But, um, because that stuff's ass. Ow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, Saturday shenanigans. I am going to start, well, pretty much any live, but particularly the Saturday shenanigans. I, if we get 20 viewers on a Saturday night, um, all at one time, congruent viewers, I will give away something, um, whether it's, um, I'm going to make a page on my website and you'll be able to select from the items on that, on that page. So, um, it may be a painting or maybe a small spirit bottle or, um, some of my other experiments and crafty things or Christmas ornament or something like that. Um, the only thing I ask is if you're outside the continental United States is pitch in for, um, shipping and you will be responsible for any taxes and duty and all that other happy crappy that goes with it. But I will open it up worldwide, um, cause I do have friends and followers in other countries. So, um, and a boyfriend that lives in Canada. Um, so we will um, give that away um, that same night. As soon as we hit 20, boom, give it away. So shenanigans, it's such a fun word to say. I love shen shenanigans and happenstance. That's why my business name is happenstance because it kind of happened by happenstance. So anywho, The magic radish. Love it. Yeah, that's kind of how my brain is right now. Magical stuff. But, so, share this video with your friends or, you know, your enemies. Because, you know, enemies need love too. Because, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Isn't that a line? Anyways, not that, you know, who knows. Maybe they're just having a really bad day for 40 years. You know? Show them some love. But, um, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Um, um, if you liked what you've seen here, please click that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Oh, that was a big word for me to say. And <laughs> click the notification bell and that'll let you know when we go live because we are going live every single day until December 30th, 2019. Because you know what? That's my birthday and I want to give you guys a birthday present. So, and it's also my New Year's. So, and I might, and I'll probably continue on because I've kind of come to enjoy these and look forward to these and when I'm having a bad day it's something for me to look forward to and I and I hope in turn it, it, it is for you guys as well. So I am going to go get some food in my belly and I am grateful for all of you and I'm thankful that you spent some time with me. Y'all have a great day, great night, great week because it's Monday. Oh, and reminder, uh, the Rhinestone World over on their YouTube channel goes live 9 o'clock Eastern Time. All I know is it's 8 o'clock Central. So yeah, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. They are giving away a Cameo 4. A Cameo Silhouette 4. If they hit 540 viewers, which they've been hitting consecutively 600. So which is amazing to me and the chat is insane, but it's also some really great information um, on how to use a vinyl cutter for different projects and also some really cool things. So I am not sponsored by them at all, but I am an all star member on their, um, on their YouTube channel and I do support their business because they started off in a garage just like all of us small timers. So they are what I aspire to be. Maybe not in rhinestones and vinyl, but in support and an actual place. So head on over there if you're looking for something to do. It's the Rhinestone World. Um, 
on face or on YouTube and also on Facebook. And I think they're on Twitter and Instagram as well. I know they're on Instagram. I'm not so sure about Twitter. But I'm on Twitter. You can find me there. So thank you. Have a great creative day. Peace, love, and happiness, y'all.